in this lesson we are going to talk about the graph of transformation so we are looking at the example f of x equal to x squared and b equal to 1 so first of all I am going to sketch the graph of the function f of x equal to x squared so what I do is I go here you know enter x squared and you will uh, see the graph here this is the graph of the function f of x, x equal to x squared now we are going to so it's a vertex is 0 0 now we are going to sketch the graph of the function f of x plus b so b is 1 so I'm going to have a x squared plus 1 so the graph of the function is going to be it's in uh, yellow and you see that uh, it shifted one unit up and uh, next we are going to sketch the graph of the function f of x minus b that is uh, x squared minus 1 So if you look at the graph of the function, now that's the one in green, it shift downward by one unit. So the new vertex is zero comma negative one. Okay, now we need to sketch the graph of the function f of x plus b. f of x plus b that is gonna be x plus one whole quantity square. So, if you look at the graph of the function f of uh, x equal f of x x plus b, that is going to be if you look here, it is shifted left by one unit. That's over here. The new vertex is going to be instead of zero zero, the vertex will be x is negative one, y is zero. Next one, we are going to sketch the graph of x minus 1 whole quantity square that is exactly f of x minus b the graph is going to be here this one the one in blue it uh, shifted to the right one unit so the new vertex is 1 comma 0 previously originally 0 0 shifted to 1 comma 0. Next, sketch the graph of the function negative f of x. So, in our case, x uh, f of x is x squared, so it's going to be negative x squared. So, graph of the function is going to be the one here in, gra in the green is upside down, vertex is 0, 0, but original one is upright parabola. This is going to be upside down parabola. Okay, next go to the next page. So here we have some formulas or you know maybe I'll say observation that you had to watch. So f of x plus d, the new function f of x plus d that's same as x square plus one. What is going to happen is the original point a comma b will be changed to a comma b plus d. You are y will be changed to instead of b it went b plus d so that's going to shift it up by d unit the next one is f of x minus d so here it shifted d units down then you multiply by c c is a number between uh, c is a number greater than one so your y would be changed to c b so stretch vertically by c and one over c will be uh, shrink vertically by one over c and uh, negative f of x going to be a b become a comma negative b this flip over the x axis the, so here we know i have some example here so f of x square x squared is this one upright parabola and uh, so two time f of x will be vertically stretched by two so that's this one is like um, you know narrowing down and uh, if you look at f of x plus 2, that's x squared plus 2, shift by 2 units up. 
and uh, here if it is f of x minus 2 shift down by 2 units and uh, let's look at this guy this is easier negative f of x that negative x squared is, is going to be flip over x axis that is upside down and here you multiply f of x by one half it shrink vertically by one half unit the next one so here we have the same you know kind of observation I gave you earlier you know you can look at that f of x plus d is going to be a comma b will be changed to a minus d comma b so shift by b unit f of x minus d shift by right by d unit f of cx shrink horizontal by 1 over c and f of 1 over cx shrink horizontal by c and f of negative x will be flip over by y axis so here is the example f of x squared here this is going to be f of 2x that's 2x whole corner squared that's showing by half another one is f of x plus 2 that's x plus 2 whole corner squared it move to the left by 2 unit and uh, here x minus 2 squared that is uh, shift to the right by 2 and uh, f of negative x is same as x squared it will be the same graph f of x over 2 horizontal stretch by 2 units and that's all